cover the basics of capturing network traffic. To start a network trace session that captures from all available physical adapters, run Message Analyzer as administrator, then use the Start Local Trace button from the Start page. Windows requires you to run as administrator to capture directly from your local network interfaces, but this may not be required for other trace scenarios and remote capture. If you need to set a capture filter, select specific adapters or do other advanced configuration like remote capture, you can use the new session and then choose live trace, but we'll explain that later in another video. If you run into an issue while starting a trace and an error dialog appears, there can be various causes. Some common ones are not running as administrator, or if a session is already capturing with the Endis provider, of which there can only be one, or possibly a third-party filter driver that could be interfering with the operation. Also keep in mind that on Windows 8 and below, we install an Endis driver instead of using the Inbox OS driver. There have been reported issues where the driver doesn't get installed on those platforms. For any issues like this, and other problems, I would suggest using the Discussion Voting button on the Start page, which will take you to our forums and you can start a new thread to get help. Once you press the Start Local button, the Trace session starts capturing and the default analysis view will show up. You should see some incoming messages populate the grid which may take a while the first time you attempt a live trace. Next, let's open a PowerShell prompt and ping an address so that we'll have some specific traffic in the trace. I'll just ping my router so that I know it captures it. Now, let's stop the trace so that we don't continue to collect network traffic. We could restart the trace and gather new data which removes all the currently captured data. Or while the trace is capturing, we could hit pause instead and then your traffic's retained when you unpause it. Once you have the data you need, let's save it. Here you see choices for our native format called MATP, which stands for Message Analyzer Traced Parsed. The advantage of saving the data in an already parsed format is that it will load quickly the next time. Compare this to the other option where you export as CAP. When you load this file again, it will have to spend time parsing the data again. So MATP is a great time saver. Of course, if you save as .cap, it is compatible with other tools, but remember other tools might expect network traffic based on Ethernet. While this works fine with start local trace options, other capture scenarios like loopback or HTTPS direct may not yet be supported by these other tools because they don't know how to deal with the different header structure. Well, that's it for now. Until next time.